There are some interesting examples where we can find the, the solution of the Dirichlet problem. Um, one example is uh, the case when R is some rectangle uh, and the and the boundary uh, is uh, given by these um, four lines uh, where the temperature U is equal to zero on the red part and is equal to some given function f of x on the green part. So what will the solution be in this case? The way of um, finding this solution is as we did uh, earlier, uh, we are using the uh, method of separation of variables. We um, write u of x uh, y uh, equal to a product of two functions, one function which is only dependent of x and another which is only dependent of y. So recall that x is uh, in this direction and y is in this direction. So, uh, using this we can uh, differentiate two times with respect to x uh, and we get this expression. We can also differentiate with respect to y two times and we get this expression. And we insert these expressions into uh, the Laplace equation and uh, obtain this equation. Dividing with um, uh, f and g, the product of f and g, we obtain uh, that um, as we did uh, earlier for the wave equation uh, that um, this f uh, double prime of x over f is equal to minus d double prime uh, of u uh, over g of u, uh, of y, sorry. And uh, Exactly as uh, previously, we get uh, that um, this function uh, and this function must be a constant because um, it's not possible for a function which is dependent of x to be equal to a function dependent on, on uh, y uh, unless these functions are constants. So. As before, we get two equations, this and this. We do not go into so much details here, but let us just um, show you that uh, uh, making arguments very similar to what we did uh, before, uh, we arrive at um, a general solution for, uh, for the temperature u and it's written in this form. It's um, sigma n from 1 to infinity of u n, uh, where u n is uh, this product. Um, in order to find uh, this a n star, these are constants which are dependent on n, we insert the boundary conditions we um, find we use that uh, for y equal to b uh, then this uh, we know that uh, we know the solution we know that u of x b actually is equal to f of x and rearranging a little bit uh, calling here we have just uh, changed the order um, of the product here um, and we note that this is a constant only dependent on n, so it's written like this, and then we realize that this is uh, the Fourier series of the function f of x. So bn must be the Fourier uh, coefficient uh, given by this integral. And we know that Bn is equal to this guy, so uh, this is written here. And then we can just uh, divide by um, sine uh, hyperbolicus, um, and we get this expression for the 
the coefficient a n star. So summing up, we find that uh, the solution u is written as an inf infinite series in this way, where the the uh, uh, coefficients a n star is given by this integral.